in three, two. Hi, my name is Jim with Backyard Builders, the inventor and the creator of high performance fuel cells. And this is what I do for a living. I make bubbles. Not just any bubbles, hydrogen bubbles. Jim with high performance fuel cells once again. We have a big old Winnebago. It's got a V10 in it, it's a Ford. We installed the fuel cell system in the side box here. There's the tank, there's the fuel cell. We put two valves in there. One to be able to run the engine, he can switch the valve over and then run his generator down over here on the side. Okay, once again, clean exhaust. Now we got what we want to see. We got water dripping out of it. Come here, check out your exhaust now. Check out your exhaust. Okay, nice win of video. Watch this, I'm going to pop the exhaust. Tell me if you see water come out. Alright, we're going to hit this. Yep, water came out. Alright. Now, let's smell the exhaust. I did. Clean. That's the whole key. Once we get the exhaust smelling clean, we know the combustion's complete. And we see the water, that means that the hydrogen's burning. Um, no, if I put in high just it doesn't matter what fuel I burn with it. I would still run a good gas. Well, I mean, should I start running 87 or 93? I would still stay with 93. What do you 87. normally run, 87? 87. I'd go with the 93. Because you can see, see that gray? Right. That means that it's running lean. Not enough fuel. See the gray in the pipe? Right. That gray tint says it's not getting enough complete burn. I'd go with the good stuff. And I haven't got any ethanol in it. Hmm? I haven't got any ethanol in the good stuff. Say it again now? I don't have any ethanol. Yeah. You don't want the ethanol. I say it's not in the 93%. Right. Or 93 octane. The ethanol is what kills an engine. I don't think you used to run them when you don't sound chill on it. Straight, straight ethanol. I think, honestly, Pete. Personally, I think we should go back to the old let it stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, now if you put let it gas in here and use hydrogen, so that's the out of it? Mm -mm. All right, Winnebago installed. I don't know what time it is. What time we start today? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, and what time is it now? 123, okay. I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to watch our show. This was an E45 Super Duty Winnebago 2006. This is Richard. This is his Winnebago right here. We met Richard at the Webster Flea Market and uh, he wanted to reduce his fuel mileage and clean up his carbon imprint for the world. Um, this was a really nice Winnebago inside and everything. Richard takes really good care of it. We installed the generator right down here in the box and you can see it there, reservoir tank and everything. There's a cutoff valve there. Well, actually it's two valves. One's for the engine and then one is for the generator that was in that box. There's the exhaust pipe. As you move back of the Winnebago, 
you will come to see that there is water dripping from the exhaust. Look at all that condensation there. That means that we are getting a nice, steamy, clean, watery exhaust. Smells like laundry being dried. Um, Welcome around here. Let me find Richard. I know he's back here somewhere. And there he is. Okay, I guess he was circling me. As you see, there was a little water laying on the ground. I'm going to go into the cab here, and I'm going to rev up the gas. Oh, oh. Alright, walk back over here. Richard uh, told me how much water. You can see there's more water laying on the ground. Yeah. I could breathe off that exhaust pipe. What's that worth? I think it's worth everything. That's what makes my job so good. Um, I'm making a difference each day. That's what matters to me. Well, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, like I said, this was in a V10. Um, we do really well with the V10s. We build a dual pack for them. Um, what else? Pulse with modulator, electronics. I think this package cost Richard right around fifteen or two thousand, somewhere in between. There. Uh, we did this job a month ago. Uh, good people. I really liked them. Uh, they were really interesting. I liked talking to Richard. He was there to hand his tools and stuff like that. And even watched the man get on the ground and help the job done. Uh, I've noticed that the older crowd is actually the ones that are actually making the real difference in this. Uh, we don't see too much of the younger generations. The uh, only time we really see the younger generations is if they're trying to go out for high performance and stuff like that like Chris or Hector and Madlock and stuff, like the Busa project. Um, but uh, the old timers, I believe they want to make the difference because, uh, you know, they made, you know, what they're doing now, you know, traveling the country, their livelihood. Um, not really a livelihood, but, you know, the way they live now in retirement and stuff. So, uh, once again, like to thank everybody uh, for taking the time to watch our video. Um, I believe we got Richard 33% uh, uh, gain and zero emissions. What's that worth? So if you'd like to find out more, you can contact us at High Performance Fuel Cells. Check out our website. Uh, or you can call me at area code 813-789-0137. Thank you, everybody. Peace.